Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking another look at the progression of game compatibility in Yuzu, this Nintendo Switch emulator. So if you haven't seen any of my videos in the past few days, you may or may not be aware of the fact that Yuzu received quite a significant performance upgrade, which has boosted the performance in both 2D and 3D games on the emulator. As you can see by the gameplay in the background, ARMS is now running in a much, much more playable state, running anywhere between 10 and 27 to 30 FPS. In the in-game menus, you can also see that performance has seen a significant jump, moving from around 10 to 15 FPS up to a locked 60 in most situations. When we enter into the character selection screen, you can also see that both 3D and performance is much much better in this area than we were previously seeing on the emulator. While it's not perfect, it is still a massive performance boost and a massive increase in quality to the 3D rendering. Next up in our game compatibility list is Batman The Telltale Series. So as you can see in our on-screen gameplay, Batman The Telltale series is now booting and going to its menus. So while the 3D rendering in the menu scenes isn't exactly perfect, you can still fully navigate through and interact with all of these different text tiles. When we proceed through to the chapter selection screen, you can also select and view all of these chapters and they do indeed load in game as you are about to see. Let's simply load into episode 5, where you are going to see some fairly funkily rendered 3D graphics. And there you go, as you can see we are now loaded into game and running at around 10 to 20 FPS, however practically none of the 3D characters are rendered correctly at all. Even though you can progress through gameplay and it doesn't crash in any situations for me at least, I would definitely not call this game playable due to the quality of the rendered 3D graphics. Okay so let's move on to our next title, Kirby All Star Allies. So, if you watched my previous compatibility video, you would have seen that this game was already booting to its title menu. However, in the previous video and in previous versions of this emulator, all of the vertices on these menus were completely exploded in a similar fashion to what you can see on some of the displayed characters right now. However, due to some improvements in the emulator's rendering, this game now fully works in its menus even though it does not progress into gameplay. You can see that when we come through these menus, all of these characters are now semi-correctly rendered. Unfortunately though, at this point in time, if you try to progress into story mode or any of these other choices, the game will simply crash and softlock and will not be able to proceed any further. Let's move on to our next title, Splatoon 2. So in a similar fashion to many of the other 3D rendered titles in this compatibility list, Splatoon 2 has also seen a fairly large uptake in its performance levels on Yuzu Emulator. Due to the large amount of shaders present in this game and many other 3D titles of its type, we are going to experience this stutter that you are seeing in gameplay right now. Fortunately, after a few minutes of gameplay, this will iron out and become a much much more smooth experience. You can even see throughout this small segment of gameplay that when I move around this area, the gameplay becomes much more smooth. Hopefully we will see further advancements in the 3D rendering quality and performance of this game in future. Let's now move on to our final game of this compatibility video, I Am Setsuna. In this game, we have another 3D rendering title that boots to its menus and also progresses into gameplay and actually has fairly decent render quality. As you can see, I've already played quite a bit of this game, however, I'm just going to load into a new game where I'm going to show you what it looks like the very first time you boot in. And there we go, as you can see we are now loaded into gameplay and the 3D graphics are actually rendering quite well. As is also fairly apparent, the snow textures are not currently loading correctly as we are getting these large white sheets draping across our gameplay screen. You may also notice that in the bottom of my gameplay window you can see my speed is locked to 50% of 50%. This is because this game is a 30 FPS title and if you play it at 100% speed at the moment in Yuzu emulator, it will run at 2 times the game speed. In order to fix this, all you have to do is come to the emulation tab, go to configure and then go to the graphics tab where you will be able to set your game speed to 50%. As you can clearly see, the game is running quite well despite these rendering issues of the snow particles. Unfortunately, at this point in time on this emulator, when you get to the very first town or village, this title is just going to softlock, meaning that you will not be able to progress in the story any further. 
Hopefully any and all of these softlock and rendering issues can be fixed in the coming days, weeks and months. So that's about it for this short update on Yuzu game compatibility guys. Remember that if you want to help with the development of this emulator, you can find a link to their Patreon down in the description of this video. Head on over there and pledge to support these developers. So once again guys, cheers for checking out this video. Remember to like it if you liked it dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.